I don't know about you, but I like cards that are simple and do not require a ton of supplies. I'm Sylvie from sylviestamps.com. Let's get to my table and I will show you how to make this card. So here are the supplies that I am using today and you will need. I have a piece of Use of Happiness uh, designer series paper from Stampin' Up! And I cut a square that is three and three quarters and I cut it in half, diagonally like that, okay? Then I have a piece of basic white cardstock that is four and a quarter by, no, four by five and a quarter and Melon Mumbo uh, card base eight and a half by uh, five and a half and scored. So uh, I'm using the colors from the paper here. I will have all the, the um, supplies that I'm using will be in the description. And I'm using also the Charming Sentiments. We'll be using the uh, Wishing You the, be the Happiest of Birthdays from Charming Sentiments stamp set. So let's get started. I'm going to grab my uh, basic white cardstock and my two pieces of designer series paper and some dimensionals. So I'm going to put them on the back. When you use dimensionals, it always makes your cards look better because it gives them some dimension. I'm going to leave a little bit of a margin around on both sides here. Again, I'm going to leave some margins here a little bit. And you can see that leaves the, um, a special place right here for my greeting. So you need a long greeting for this, uh, for this card to work well. And I'm using Melon Mumbo ink because that's the same color as my flowers here. I love that about Stampin' Up! that it all coordinates. And I'm just going to stamp my greeting right in the center here. Now you can see how this card is shaping up here. If you like it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to my channel and set the reminder so you don't miss on any other videos that I might have. And now I'm going to use my uh, my card base here. I don't need this anymore, so I'm just going to uh, do that. And I'm going to use just um, regular adhesive on the back here. You could use dimensionals also on the back here if you wanted, but I'm just going to use just adhesive. There we go. <laughs> Put it the right way as well. All right, and then just for fun, let's add some, some bling here. I have some gold adhesive back sequins that I'm going to, uh, it just adds to the card when you add a few um, embellishments like that. Let's add some, I think, on the, in the middle of the flowers here too. I don't usually put too much bling, but I think this card wants a little bit more. Okay, let's put one here. Okay, let me show you um, a couple more cards that I have with the same idea. Okay, so this one, again, used a uh, paper and a greeting like that, but my paper was uh, four and a quarter by five and a half before I cut it and I'll, it's about one inch here and one inch here. It doesn't really matter how much, um, you know, the distance there, but that gives you, you know, it's similar, just a var variation on that. Here is another variation here where I used a, a smaller triangle and I stamped images in the center and my greeting here. Then here, this is a little more involved with these three little owls that have been cut out and whatnot, and my triangle here was matted as well. So it's smaller yet, and it's been matted. And um, there is another idea here with, again, the two triangles, but then it's a little more involved in the, in the center here. So I wanted to let you know as well that every Tuesday I, I send um, an email with a PDF tutorial for, various, for a card. And so I will have the link in the description on how you can subscribe to that and get those tutorials. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.